Greetings to our Kufi family across America and around the world. Just when you think it can't get any tougher, it does. But just in case you think that what you're going through is the worst of the worst, I want you to listen to this story. If you think that being housebound for 15 days is just beyond unbearable, listen to Jacob's story. Jacob Salome and his wife spent years hiding from the Nazis in a Polish farmhouse. They crawled under floorboards whenever they heard someone coming. Jacob and his wife did not go outside for several years. Listen to that. A farmer was hiding them in a small hole under the floor that he had made and sometimes as many as 15 people were in that small hole. They had someone at the window watching always because to be discovered by the Nazis meant instant death. There was no Netflix. There was no Roku. There was no Disney Channel to break the boredom. There were no newspapers. There was no such thing as sitting out in the front yard or backyard letting the day pass away. There was only hiding and more hiding. A reporter asked Jacob if he had any advice for people going through a great crisis. And Jacob gave one word, pray, pray. I want you to think about the words of this prayer that was published by the Jewish Observer. The prayer is very thoughtful and it's very applicable to this moment. May we who are merely inconvenienced remember that those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those who must go out to work. That would be like doctors and nurses who are putting their lives on the line. May we who care for our children when school closes remember those who have no options. May we who are losing our margin money remember those who have no money. May we who have canceled our trips remembers those who have no safe place to live. May we who settle in quarantine at home remember those who have no home. May those of us who cannot hug each other find ways to embrace God's love to our neighbors. Think about that. Think about this and find a place for our nation and Israel today to pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because there are lots of people who are now examining themselves and considering the direction our nation is going. I ask you today to pray for America and to pray for Israel. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow.